This video explains how to change the line type of a base R plot. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the two vector objects that we can create with lines one and two of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that two new vector objects are appearing, which are called X and Y and both of these vectors contain 10 numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to draw these data using base R. Then we can apply the plot function as you can see in line four of the code. And within the plot function, we need to specify the names of our two vector objects. And we also need to specify the type of plot that we want to draw. And in this case, we want to draw a line plot. So for that reason, we have to specify the type argument to be equal to the character L. So if you run line four of the code, you can see at the bottom right that a new plot is created, which is showing a line plot based on our two input vectors, X and Y. Now let's assume that we want to change the line type of this line plot. Then we can apply the LTY argument, as you can see in lines six and seven of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm using basically the same syntax as in the previous example. However, this time I'm also specifying the LTY argument to be equal to dashed. So if you run lines six and seven of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And now our line is shown with a dashed line type. Similar to that, we can specify other values to the LTY argument and I will show you some different types of lines based on the plot function that we can draw in the following examples. So in the next example in lines nine and 10 of the code, I'm using the dotted character string to specify our line type. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right that our line is dotted. We can also use a mix of these two line types using the dot dash character string, as you can see in lines 12 and 13. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that our line is partly dotted and partly dashed. We can also use the long dash character string, as you can see in lines 15 and 16 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that our plot is updated once again. And this time the lines are a little bit longer before a break is inserted. And we can also use the two dash character string as you can see in lines 18 and 19 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, our line type is corresponding to the two dash character string. So in these previous examples, I have shown how to draw different types of lines using base R. However, I also want to show you one single plot in which you can see all the different line types for comparison. And we can draw this plot with multiple lines, as you can see in lines 21 to 30 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right that a plot is created, which is showing six different lines in different colors. And you can see this legend on the top left shows the different line types. So we can also increase the size of this plot so that you can see this a little bit better. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.